Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I wanted to show you um, the new flower that I bought from Heartfelt Creation. And it's the small festive poncetta. Poncetta? I don't know how you say the word. But let's just call it the Christmas flower. So I bought the small one. And I also bought the paper pad. Okay, so let me show you what I made. These flowers are gorgeous. Look at this. So, so beautiful. I'm going to do a quick tutorial uh, on this video. I did one on Instagram, but I wanted to have one on my channel. So this is what I did. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's, oh my God, the veining on these flowers are gorgeous. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what I did was I stamped my flowers in red cardstock. So I used a 65 pound cardstock from Michaels. So these are the ones I have left. So that's why I was like, you know what? Let me just make a video before I put these together. So let me see. Okay, so the little flower, they're, they're both from the small festive. So the small festive, you do get two flowers. You get a two and a half and a three inch. And you get the little leaves. And you get this piece, but I, I don't use that piece. So this is what it looks like when you stamp them out. And I did mine the lazy way. I did not want to color them today. So I just stamped uh, black ink on red paper. Okay, so that's what I did. And then for the leaves, I just stamped it on green paper. It just, to me, just makes it easy and just ready to go. All right, so I use two of the big ones, one of the small ones and a leaf so let's take this put that on the side and let's get started okay so i do not i did not buy the the mold to be honest with you i only get the mold when i buy the incomplete bundle but then i don't end up using it but this is how i do mine okay so your flower is stamped just turn them around and take your ball uh, stylus I do not wet my flowers, but you can if you want to. And then just roll right in the middle and then just start rolling down towards the center. Okay, so roll down towards the center. They're gonna start lifting. So that's, you do that to all three flowers, roll down the center. Okay, and then this one, same thing, row. Once you do that, you flip them over, flip it over, and then you take your stylus and just right in the middle, just start rolling, rolling, and you see how the flower starts lifting up, and that's what you want. So just roll the middle, and then you roll this one. What I've done to my flowers I did the gold trimming all around the edges and what I used was the marker from Dollar Tree this is the gold metallic marker and all I did was you can do this before or after you uh, what you call it you uh, roll them okay I just I had to take my glasses off to do this part so basically I'm looking, wait, I'm sorry. I'm like looking at the camera, looking at the flower. So you see, that's all you want to do is the edges. And I don't do the whole flower. I just do, you know, kind of like halfway towards the middle and then the top. And of course, you take your time right now because I don't like my videos to be so long. I'm kind of rushing, but you get the point, right? Roll. I mean, color all the edges, right? Basically, that's all you do, and you do that to all three of them, all right? So I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. So I did all the edges. Again, I only do halfway. I don't do the whole flower, but you could do the whole flower if you like. Once that is done, then you take your hot glue, and we're going to put the flower together. Okay, so I always use two of the big ones, 
and then one of the little and I do it in between the petals and then hold it while it's still hot you're pressing the bottom the middle and then you're lifting your flower you see you're just lifting it while you're holding it okay and then you go with your next one super super easy I don't do much shaping to it I just roll the middle and then roll on top and then again while it's still hot you're lifting all your flowers up all your flower I mean your petals okay and it's looking like that I this poor mat has been through it um, okay so now that's what it's looking like oh Jesus things still hot okay so <laughs> I use my middle pieces are these little foam balls from Dollar Tree. I've got these from uh, at Christmas time and they come in silver, red, and gold in individual packages, but I just put them all in here. So what I'm going to do is, you see these? I put like five balls in the middle. You don't have to, you know, do five. You could do a big one if you like, but I like the look of the little ones. So I got four here. And five so then what I do is I take the hot glue in the middle okay and then just throw my little balls in there like that I always do four first and then the fifth one let me get a bigger one I just like to put it right on top of the four so you see so I always like to do four in the bottom and then one on top. Okay, so now with the leaves, again, lazy way out, I stamped it on green paper and then I don't have to do much to it. I only roll the leaves part. I don't roll like the squigglies. And then hot glue. Let me put this away before I get burned again. And then just pick your corner, whichever side you want. Again, I'm doing this fast because I don't want my video to be so long, but look. Isn't this, this flower is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And that is it, guys. That is how I make my flowers. And I think they came out so beautiful. And I really do think this flower is gorgeous. I think it's the veining on the flowers. And that's it. I think the pop of the uh, the gold definitely makes your flower pop. So if you go to Dollar Tree and you find that marker, definitely get it. But I'm sure any marker works. But just edge, you know, paint your edges. And that's it. Super, super easy. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.